in here for the day we had lunch at Kona cafe and we're now waiting for our room to become available um, our things are getting brought over from the boardwalk and as soon as our room is ready we're gonna head up and we just went to Publix in town and got some things to make sandwiches and snack foods uh, to kind of save some money and not do as too many more table meals um, which can tend to get a little bit pricier so if you're coming here and trying to do Disney on a budget it's great to do a little trip to the supermarket or have groceries delivered um, so that you can save a couple bucks I think our lunch today at Kona um, was what what was it about 55. 55 and that was with our tables in Wonderland discount um, so we paid about $60 at the grocery store to get some lunch meat and bread and pasta salad and a couple other snacks some beer um, and then we took an uber there and back the ubers were probably about 10 bucks, 10 bucks each way so we spent about $80 or so in groceries and transportation to the grocery store and we're gonna have meals enough for about 10 to 12 meals for Lou and I so it's pretty good savings and 
with the wedding budget that we're on, gotta gotta get those savings in if we want to continue to enjoy Disney as frequently as we do. Um, so that's your afternoon update. Tonight we're going to be going over to Magic Kingdom to see the final Celebrate the Magic show, which is kind of sad because it's one of my favorites. Um, we're going to hit up some fast passes tonight in the park um, and try to call it an early night and get some relaxing in before we have to get up for our race tomorrow morning. Uh, that's your update for the afternoon. Talk to you soon. Hey guys, we're over here at the Polynesian. Uh, got, we're able to get into our room. Beautiful, Tokilau. Um, gonna head over to the Magic Kingdom for a few hours this evening, both in our uh, Toy, Toy Story, Story gear. gear. I got, got my Buzz Lightyear shoes on. Rem got his Andy's Toys Ramon style, and I've and got Pete's Pete the Planet. Planet. All right, so we're gonna head over to Magic Kingdom, ride a few rides see the last showing of Celebrate the Magic, and then uh, hit, hit the hay so we can wake up early for uh, the Run Disney event. So uh, let's head on over. Trees out, November 3rd. Trees out. Fantastic. Are you taping? I am taping. Walking down Main Street. USA. There she is. Castle. Oh, it's so pretty. All the decorations, the wreaths. I've never seen this. First time ever seeing the Christmas decorations. Even like the garlands. Bells. It's not, it's not really, really hidden. Well, kind of. <laughs> Is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it your imagination? Hmm? And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> Which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs>
guys, we're now back to the Magic Kingdom. It's now nighttime, it's dark out. All the Christmas decorations up, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I think this is my favorite time of the year at Magic Kingdom. Just love the decorations, and here we come around to the castle, all lit up with the icicle lights. That is absolutely beautiful.